Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, I'm out here today doing some catfishing on Melton Hill Reservoir. Actually been out here for about three hours now, but I held off on doing the intro to this video because I wasn't sure how I was going to do today. This particular spot that I'm fishing isn't one that I've ever fished before, at least not for catfish anyway. I've done some ultralight fishing out here, caught some smallmouth bass out here, but I've never fished this spot for catfish before. But I thought, you know what, what the heck, let's try it out today. So what I've done is a, there's a long point that runs out here behind me. And I'm anchored down on the tip of it in 47 feet of water. I've got my baits down directly under the kayak, suspended two, three feet off the bottom. I've been using white bass for bait today. Uh, bait is kind of old. I came out here, I thought maybe I'll catch a few, but I really didn't want to waste time catching bait since I had some in the cooler, but this bait is a few days old. But I come out here, cut it up, dropped it down there anyway, and I've just put my time in. Like I said, I've been on the water about three hours now, and I've caught some fish, and so I thought, I've caught enough for a video. I've got some good quality fish. I better go ahead and knock out this intro. But uh, I've had a good day out here so far, y'all, and I'm hoping to get a few more as the sun starts to go down. i got about an hour of daylight left, and I'm probably going to fish till a little after dark tonight, assuming this weather holds off. We've got that, I don't know what point you're seeing this video, but we've got this Arctic blast that's supposed to blow through tomorrow. The temp out here today has been nice. It's been around 60. Felt a little cooler with the wind, uh, but still about 60 degrees. Tomorrow the high is supposed to be 35. So we got a big change in the weather coming this evening and overnight. So I was hoping to maybe get some fish feeding up uh, ahead of this front, but uh, the bite has been kind of slow today, but the fish I have got have been dang good quality. Here's the action thus far. It's good to be hooked up. Wasn't sure if I was gonna get one out here today or not. He's down here just a rolling. <laughs> Don't think this is no golly whopper by any stretch of the imagination. But it's fish, I'm getting a skunk out. I can't complain. Oh goodness, it's another one of them old channels. Goodness gracious. What's well, a big one now? Look at that, y'all. That's a big old channel. Dang channel cats always stealing my bait. But you start getting this size here, and I don't really mind this bait. Get that out of the way. Look at that. <laughs> I guess if a channel cat's this big or bigger, I don't mind it stealing my bait. <laughs> I ain't got my measuring board with me, so I don't know how long he is. But I can tell you here, my kayak is my kayak is 38 inches across, so this is probably 32, -ish, probably 34, somewhere in there. Ain't a bad channel, man. <laughs> Let's let him go. Get out of here, you old thing. Be gone. Fish on, fish on. That's a good one right there, y'all. That's a good one. That one's on that head, that white bass head. Oh, buddy. Look at him pull. <laughs> it's been sitting here on the end of this point, y'all. Like 47 feet of water out here. Again, I'm on Melton Hill again today. The last couple videos have been bank fishing trips on Melton Hill. They're dropping the water level down on Fort Loudon and Watts Bar. Uh, TVA is, I guess it's probably time for winter drawdown. But the water level out here on Melton Hill is still stable. Well, so I'll come back out here. What the heck is on my to-do list to spend some time out here this year anyway. I've been doing pretty good in the last couple trips. See what this is. Oh, it's a flathead. <laughs> He's mad, buddy. He's mad. Look at that now. There he is. Here we 
go. Oh, Mr. Flatty. The heat right there, man. Let's hold him up. Look at that thing, buddy. That's a good flathead. Heck yeah. See, I'm just sitting here, 47 feet on the end of this point, having a good time. <laughs> got that big channel cat a little while ago, now I got this beast. If he'd come off, I'd have swore he's bigger. He fought hard, man. All right, well, I'm gonna let him go down there and get even bigger. See you, buddy. There you go. Y'all want to know why the catfish are down there? That right there. My anchor clip come loose, so I've been drifting over this way, and my bait here was dragging bottom, and it's got all them muscles there. So that's why them fish are down there. The catfish get down there and eat them things. But I'm gonna go back up here and tie off to my anchor again, and we'll get back in business. That dang thing broke on there somehow. How well, the heck that happened? Oh well. That right there though, that's why I put a piece of pull noodle on my anchor rope holder. So my anchor. My anchor rope holder is just sitting here waiting on me to come back to it. In any kind of mishap. on. Y'all, I just switched out them baits maybe 10 minutes ago. The others have been down there soaking a while, so this one here is a white bass head, white bass body section, and I had put that body section of yellow bass on, on that rod earlier, so I switched it out and put the yellow bass head. I've just been camped out here on the end of this point. Got my bait suspended under the kayak, two, three, four feet off bottom, and just waiting. Oh yeah, buddy, look at that. That's a good fish. He didn't fight that hard, but that is a good fish. Man, wow. That thing was rolling down there the whole time. I didn't think it was that big. Goodness gracious, that thing's round up. <laughs> that is a great fish. Great fish. You know, my last couple trips, the last couple videos I put out, I've been fishing shallow, around 15 foot or so, back in a creek. So I thought I'm gonna come out here today and hit some deeper water. Uh, deeper water structure day because y'all know my philosophy. They ain't never a bad time to fish deep water structure and This one here Made it worthwhile Look at that <laughs> Is that awesome or what? That's a hefty cat man That is a hefty cat He is one ugly thing I love him nonetheless. <laughs> That's awesome. He's heavy, I tell you that. Well, all right. I'm gonna let him go. Let him go back down there, get even bigger. Let's do it. See ya, buddy. Let me get that camera going. He's out of here. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. I've been on some good fish lately, y'all. I had a bad run of it there in August, September. Just really couldn't put anything together. Couldn't get anything going at all. You know, I was catching dinks, but nothing big. But the last, really the last two weeks, three weeks or so, I've just been nailing them, man. It's been a lot of fun. Hope it keeps up. Hope to get some more today. All right, y'all, it is starting to rain. Like I said, that front is supposed to move through this evening and into tomorrow, and the first part of that rain is here now. So I'm gonna have to take that camera off that front mount. But my plan is to stay out here 
uh, a little while longer and ride it out here till the sun goes down. I may just have to film with this front camera, my chest cam here only, if I get any more fish. If I don't get any more fish, we'll just call this the closing of the video. But I tell you what, if I don't get any more today, it's been a pretty good afternoon to come out here on Melton Hill, a place that's not known for big catfish, and not only get a nice flathead and a huge blue, but also get a what is probably my biggest channel cat of all time. And you all know I hate them things, but that one I got earlier was a fun surprise. So I'm happy about that. But uh, this spot here today, like I said, I fished it before for smallmouth and just doing ultralight fishing out here, but I've never catfished out here. But I have seen enough out of it today that I'll definitely be back. I mean, I've said it before in other videos, a fish is a fish is a fish. If you catch one species of fish on a particular structure, chances are you're going to find other species there as well too. They all use the same places. So if you find a good spot for one, it's a good spot for all. And so I'll definitely be back out here. I'd like to come back out on a day when I've got better bait. I really should have put some time in earlier this afternoon to get some fresh bait and then come out here versus using the bait I have that's a few days old. So uh, yeah guys, uh, hopefully this ain't the end of the video, but if it is, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.